All right, troops, strong and conditioned, live from the burpee den. So I had a burpee epiphany the other night when I was doing that dedication to Sean G. And it may seem quite minor, but to me it was a revelation, an absolute revelation. And what happened was I tried to emulate Sean's style. When you watch Sean do his burpees, he runs in the spot, but there's an intensity. His hands are moving. It's kind of like similar to Moses Cuevas in that respect. <laughs> Whereas in the past, when I ran on the spot, it was a kind of ambling, a wee sort of plodding along pace. And I felt that that was enough. However, when I was doing that Sean G workout the other night, my heart rate was redlined for the duration of the session. And it was running on the spot, man. It was intense. And it was also complemented with the knee raises. My knee raises have always been quite, well, let's just say I lack coordination. Like, really lack coordination. However, I was watching Sean G's style. And I noticed he took left elbow to right knee and vice versa. Whereas I was a kind of going for the kickboxing Thai Muay Thai, knee up hitting the palms, and it lacked intensity. And the overall message that became clear to me was, you need to make your burpees intense. There needs to be a degree of intensity to your burpees at points. You're not always going to get that intensity. Sometimes you just need to go with the flow. Sometimes it looks laborious. However, if you want to redline and you want to go hard, then you need to figure out how do I make these burpees intense? And that starts with a stomach strike, the descent, getting those push-ups in, pushing hard, coming up and getting that wee run on the spot with the knee raises, but adding that flavour of intensity to those movements, which are sometimes deemed as forms of recovery. But having watched Sean, I realised that they're not really recovery. They're a way to kind of get that great flow and keep the heart rate up, keep it jacked. So kudos to Sean G for that wee nugget, which I discovered on my journey. Now I've been doing burpees for nearly two years and you kind of think to yourself, I should have mastered it at that point, but you never master it. You'll never master the burpee ultimately. You will always find tweaks, flourishes, and adjustments that you make as you progress on the burpee journey. So never be dissuaded by the technique that you display or exhibit when you begin the journey, because that will be constantly fine-tuned as time goes on. It will constantly be fine-tuned and it can only be fine-tuned through repetition, through hundreds of thousands of reps over time. Now, another thing that you may have noticed was when I was doing my pumps as well, I wasn't going full lockout because when I watch guys like Sean G and the prison guys, a lot of them don't go full lockout, they get that pump they actually do a pump to get that blood flowing to the muscle, keeping tension on the muscle. The same way you watch like bodybuilders do bench press and they won't go full lockout. Some guys will think, well, they're trying to preserve their joint health, but ultimately what they're doing is, is they're driving blood flow into the target muscles. And sometimes we can get lost in that whole, the form needs to be perfect, which I agree with for the most part. However, sometimes you need to like, be loose. You need to kind of go on the fly and just try new things and see how they affect your body when you're doing them. And that's something that you need to explore in your own burpee journey. Get those pumps in. Manipulate the pumps. Do it prison style. The prison guys' burpees are probably the hardest burpees you'll ever find. And they're probably the most influential for me anyway. Because they're very innovative. These guys have got a lot of times in their hands, so they've got a lot of times to create and experiment. 
and it shows in the burpee. Also combine that with the frustration that a lot of these guys must feel when they're in their cells and they've got a lot, a lot of stuff on their mind, a lot going on round about them and a lot of time in their hands. So don't feel constricted by the rules that are placed by many, including myself. Sometimes you need to find your own path. You need to find your own burpee style, but you need to manipulate technique. You need to experiment with technique and you need to be brave and bold and just do your own thing. Just go for it. And you need to not get a wee dog that bites the bloody hands off you. Anyway, listen, hopefully that was a kind of help to some buppy guys. Just a thought in my mind and just putting something out there. As we say, in the buppy den, enter the darkness and head towards the light. For the light is where gains are created. And results are born. Anyway, thank you. Thank you.